What is going on everybody? Roms are here and today we're actually playing Battle of Z. Yes, that's right. The demo is finally out. We've been talking about it for the last couple weeks and we finally get to play it. So I decided to make a quick video to show you basically how to play the game and how it works. This is the very first mission available in the game and as you can tell, it is a tutorial. So right off the bat, you know, you can run. As you can see, there's a lot of freedom. Pressing the X button flies you up. Pressing the A button flies you down. And if you're moving around while pressing those buttons, then you fly up or you fly down. So here's me flying down, here's me flying up. And just as you've known before, there's a lot of a lot of space in the map. And you know, before the big problem with Rage of Blast games and Tank Aichi games is the maps are too small. But this time it does not feel like it's small at all, and that's one of the best improvements in this game so far. And flying is a lot of fun. I don't know if it's because there's a lot of room to fly now or what, but flying's a lot of fun. So just don't mind me while I'm doing a couple Kaiokens and flying left and right. Okay, now I'm back to the devil before my ADD kicks in. So, uh, basic controls tutorial, like I said before, square flies you up, X flies you down, and that's the X and A button on the Xbox controller. But for the rest of this video, we're only going to talk about PS3 controls, because that's what you're going to see pop up, and I don't want to get, you know, the viewers confused. But, uh, back to running, we're about to go to the little marker. We have two Cybermen that we're going to start practicing on. And as soon as they pop out of the ground, the first thing you learn is how to lock on. Hitting uh, the R1 button locks you onto the closest opponent. You don't have to be close to them at all. You can be as far away as possible and you will still lock into somebody. And hitting the R1 button again will take the uh, lock off so you can go back to free mode and fly around. It's pretty simple. But how about some action now because that's what you want to see. So uh, you have two basic controls. Hitting the triangle button is your melee attacks and hitting the circle button is your key attacks. And if you combine them with the L1 button, you do stronger versions of the attack. So for example, if I do an L1 circle, it does a Kamehameha. Versus if I do an L1 triangle attack, it does like a dashing uh, punch attack, which you can chain, chain into a meteor combo. And I just tried to do that right there, and I actually ended up messing up, but that's because he was next to the wall, so it didn't work that well. But that's okay, we'll try it on another Cyberman in a couple seconds. As of right now, let's just go ahead and knock this one out, because we don't need him anymore. If you hit the L1 button on its own, then it's your guard and block function. And if you hit L2, L2 is actually your unique attack for every character. So for example, with Goku, that is my Kaioken attack. And the longer I hold it, the more damage it does. If I hold it for half a second, it will do next to no damage. Versus if I hold it for like, I don't know, 10 seconds, it does a whole lot more. In fact, a fully charged Kaioken punch is enough to knock out a Cyberman. Poor guy, he stood no chance. But that's okay, we don't need him. Now to some more advanced moves, starting with the Kamehameha Wave. When your key energy fills all the way up, you will see it light up to indicate that it's full. And when you press triangle and circle together, you're able to pull off your more powerful key attacks, like the Kamehameha way. To fill up your key bar, you can do it two ways. One is doing some good old-fashioned melee. And two, having a support character like Gohan fly around and just give you energy. That's right, you can't charge. I mean, we've talked about this before, but you cannot charge a key in this game. And I know that kind of sounds weird, but I kind of like it because back in the previous games, all you really do most of the time is just sit there and charge, and that kind of got redundant. So I'm glad that they took that out. And now the final attack is the ultimate attack, which I unfortunately cannot do because you have to unlock it, and that's not available in the demo. The ultimate attack would be the spirit bomb with Goku, and to do it, when my Genki bar, which you saw earlier at the top, fills all the way up, I'm able to pull off a more powerful move that basically is a one-hit KO to the characters. And to unlock those ultimate attacks, if you finish a mission with all the right conditions, then you get this thing called Genki Request. As soon as the battle ends, you will see a spirit bomb appear right in front of you, and then you get the button mash the circle button for about 15 seconds. All the energy you send into the spirit bomb gets converted into a thing called premium points, which is what you use to buy more advanced items like the limit jewel, which grants your character their uh, ultimate attack. The really cool thing about Genki Request is this is the main menu uh, where you choose between single player, multiplayer, and all that stuff. This is actually active Genki being collected by players across the world. As you can see, those are actually gamer tags and PSN names that are connected to each person's energy. So all that Genki right there, you see the 12,000, is Genki that's been collected so far by the people who have downloaded the demo. So every time you're doing this, you're actually adding on to the giant pool of energy that displays on the main menu of the game. So the spirit bomb that you see circling around in the main menu is made up of all the energy that's been collected by players so far, which is a really, really cool feature to me. So anyway, that wraps about just about everything with the tutorial video. If you have any questions or any concerns or anything, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to send energy by hitting that like button so we can make a giant spirit bomb of awesomeness. And join the Super Saiyan Army by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyways, my name is Rhymestyle. I hope you're all doing awesome. I will see you guys next time.